Tourism numbers are increasing in San Francisco, but spending is still down, close to 60% down from 2019. Joining us now is the CEO of San Francisco Travel, Joe Delis De Alessandro. Uh, Joe, thank you so much for joining us to talk a little bit about uh, the tourism or the impact that the pandemic has really had on our tourism industry. We always knew this would be a process of getting back to that pre-pandemic level of tourism, but what are numbers looking like right now? They're looking very challenging. Um, we're right now forecasting that we won't be back to pre-pandemic levels of tourism for San Francisco until probably 2025. Some areas are very slow in returning and will be slow in returning. For example, international travelers. International travelers come here for tourism, leisure purposes, but also come here for business meetings and conventions and events. And with the borders closed, we don't anticipate those numbers to be back to pre-pandemic levels until 2025. And before the pandemic, international visitors spent 63% of all tourism spending in San Francisco. So mm. that's a really important market for us. As ours is a corporate market, the business market, and the convention and media market, all slow to recover. I, when we say spending is still down uh, quite significantly, I, I know obviously, like you mentioned, international travelers are a really big part of that. But uh, how much of it, um, how much of it is stores that have closed over the course of the pandemic? Has that made an impact at all? Well, yeah, but visitors would go, if a store's closed, they would go to somewhere else to find the same similar type of activity. If you look at hotel occupancy, that's a really good clue. So typically in the month like August in the summertime, hotel occupancy in San Francisco would be 90% or higher. This, uh, this uh, summer it's looking like we'll be lucky to make 50%. So the sheer numbers are down dramatically over what it was before, before the pandemic hit. What does that mean for our local businesses? Unfortunately, it means a lot less revenue coming in. It means a lot um, fewer people are getting back to work. San Francisco is one of the hardest hit country, uh, cities in the country right now uh, for tourism because of our uh, reliance on international and corporate meetings and uh, in conventions. So it's going to take a long, longer for our businesses to recover, especially the small businesses, restaurants, retail outlets that rely so much on tourists. So that's why San Franciscans need to get out and support our small businesses ourselves in the meantime before the visitors start coming back in large numbers. So that's, that's basically, uh, this is kind of a call to action at this point. It is a call to action because we want to make sure that these businesses that we enjoy so much as local residents in the Bay Area are able to survive this. And many restaurants, as you know, have had challenges. Many other tourism impacted businesses have a challenge. So we want to keep those businesses alive so that when the recovery does happen in its full nature, that those businesses will be there to support the visitors and, and for the visitors to support them. Uh, what are you all doing to try and increase tourism uh, here to the city? We're doing a lot of regional marketing, a lot of leisure marketing in the Western region in California. We're working together with other uh, cities and destinations in the Bay Area, for example, the Mount Diablo region, Visit Oakland, to get people in the West to come to our areas. We're working closely with Visit California to tell people that California is a safe place to travel to and, and really trying to do different types of, of strategies. We also want to make sure that in the long term, conventions come back in 2022 and, and 23 and, and therefore, so we're still marketing conventions into the future. So we're taking a multi-tiered uh, strategy right now to make sure that we're able to get business back in the, in the short term, but also to make sure that tourism remains the strong economic factor and force in San Francisco in the long term. Uh, just to bring us back to the shopping aspect, obviously, like you mentioned, we do have a lot of small businesses. We have a lot of larger retail stores as well in certain areas of this city. Um, are, are one suffering more than the other or are both types of stores uh, being hit by this? I think both types of stores are, are being hit by this because visitors sometimes they like to go to the big stores and, and shop at the brands that they're comfortable with, but also people like to find the unique things that you can only find in small businesses. So I think it's across the board. And as you know, some retail uh, establishments were already hurting before the pandemic hit. So this has just added a new layer on top of it. And that's why the, it's really important that we all get out and, and support the small businesses to help them survive during this, this period. Definitely. I know, obviously, a lot of the, the ferry schedules have really returned over the last couple of months. Uh, BART schedules have returned over the last couple of months. And uh, I know later, uh, or next week, I believe, the uh, nighttime tours of Alcatraz are going to start back up. Are there any other portions of our um, tourism, uh, trans whether that's transportation or attractions like Alcatraz, that uh, still need to kind of ramp back up? 
Well, you know, everything that reopens and, and reestablishes itself in San Francisco as a visitor attraction is really important. I think one of the most important things was when the cable cars started coming back because that's such an iconic uh, visual of San Francisco, not only to people from the from California, but also people from around the world. So seeing the cable cars back, seeing some of our attractions back, special exhibits back, the live performances. Um, you know, we have Hamilton here for another week. There's other live performances that are gonna happen. Those are really critical to get back because the arts are so important for visitors coming into San Francisco. So every time you hear something about a new attraction opening or reopening or a performance starting again, that's really important for the long-term health of San Francisco and its hospitality industry. Definitely. Joe, anything else uh, you want people to know about the state of tourism here in San Francisco right now? I think it's important for us to all realize how important tourism is for our economy because visitors before the pandemic uh, spent almost a billion dollars a year on our local taxes, but they pay taxes that we didn't have to pay. So we need to get this industry back as quickly as possible. And in the meantime, everybody should get out there and support the businesses that, uh, that are struggling really uh, significantly now. But tourism will come back to San Francisco. There's no question. Definitely. Joe D'Alessandro with San Francisco Travel. Thank you so much for joining us.